It's available for $25.95. You just choose either the black, we have it in the red, or we have it available in the teal. Yes, and All it's right. so easy to use. There's uh, actually, uh, this one plugs into the wall, so all you do is set it on your countertop, a uh, cutting board. It's got four stainless steel blades inside uh, that float on a little spring-loaded plunger. So if you wanna chop one clove of garlic, you just drop one clove of garlic in, put the lid on top, you put the motor over the top, and then you press the button on top of the machine. You can chop one clove of garlic that quick and easy. It's like having four knives working and and, uh, or here, if you want to do a whole bunch oh of garlic, <laughs> you, you, maybe you want to put some away, put the lid on top of the machine and watch how fast and easy this works to chop your garlic. It's the Whoa. fastest little mini food processor for your kitchen countertop. It's got the glass bowl. This is glass, nice. it's not plastic. So when you're done, take a look at this. I'm gonna take this off, take the blades out. I'll plop this out front so you guys can see exactly what we did here. I'll just plop that out here on the cutting board and I want you to see minced garlic fresh for your soups, stews, salads, for stir fries. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. And you have a little but, scraping knife too. That yes, comes if you want to scrape wanna, it out. Right. Here, I, t I tell everybody, if the only thing you ever use this machine for is chopping onions, no kidding. it's worth it Absolutely. just for the onions. Cause you know, nobody likes chopping onions cause you cry. Well now with this machine, before you even have time to cry, you've got that onion chopped coarse. If you want to go finer, you leave the button pressed far, uh, further down. If you want to chop it up to make it onion soup, you can do that with it too. <laughs> but look at this, that quick and easy with those four blades here, I'll plop this out front here so you guys can see. You get a perfect minced onion well, for backyard barbecued hamburgers yeah. or hot dogs, or maybe it's a soup stew or salad. Now it does come with a little silicone ring that sits on your countertop. Okay. You can use this as a serving bowl as well. In fact, here, let me move this back here out of the way because I got to show you this. Uh, all the ingredients for your fresh salsa mm. right inside the machine. And all you do is place the lid over the top. Now I've got, in, inside here, I've got bell pepper, onions, tomato. I've got some cilantro, some jalapeno, and uh, a couple cloves of garlic. Look how quick and easy it is to make Jeez. fresh homemade salsa or pinko de, pico de gallo, that quick and easy, that safe and fast. And then oh, look, all you do is okay. take the, bowl, the blades out. You can serve this right in the bowl, okay? Or if you wanna pour it out, you just pour it right out into your serving bowl and you've got fresh salsa, fresh guacamole, fresh anything. Listen. That smells so good. So <laughs> it, good. It's so quick and Everything. easy. And all you do is push a button. So if I, if, here, I'll tell you what. If you like hard boiled egg salad. I love. Love this, okay? I've got a half a dozen hard boiled eggs inside the machine. It's got a silicone seal all the way around the rim here. So when you place the lid over the top, it seals it inside. I like you don't now, have to like rivet around. Yeah, try to it just it goes in right over the yeah, top. You nice. place the motor over the top and whether you like the red, the black, or that teal, all you do is push a little black button on the top, you've got eggs for egg salad. <laughs> that quick and easy. Oh goodness, yes. <laughs> and here's what I love Don't about blink. it too. Now you can add your ingredients. If you want to add a little bit of uh, uh, onion in here, or here's some, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of mayo and some mustard, of course. But if you wanted to, maybe it's a pickle or some jalapeno to spice it up a little bit, you plop that over the top, place the motor on top of the machine, and look at this, it mixes it right in the same bowl. So oh, it's ready to genius. make your sandwiches that quick, that safe, that fast, that easy. I mean, just for egg salad, if you eat a lot of egg salad, it's worth it, it for that. Listen, the onions, going back, I mean, anything. One yes. time, you, your garlic, I mean, whatever it may be. But here's the thing, sold out, very first time that we offered. It's just back in stock. It is a customer pick. If you have a minute, go to hsn.com, read what others have to say. I mean, think about it. It's like a mini food processor, right. if you will, right? <laughs> right? And the footprint on this, John, it's not is yeah. really, really <laughs> small. You know, right. a lot of times to get that kind of power, you have to have yeah, the big you machines, can, you can right? actually if you've got a, you know, you, I keep mine in a drawer in my kitchen. Yeah, okay, it's always there, always handy. Uh, for, for listen, if you're making homemade sauces or soups or stews, you can do all of your herbs, uh, whether it's cilantro or parsley. I did this earlier with the parsley. How many time? How much time does it take you with a knife on a cutting board to chop up your parsley? I mean, this quick and easy. All you're going to do, and look, I'm going to plop this out here so you guys can see this. Look at it that. comes out of there absolutely beautiful. I mean, the perfect consistency and with no knife skills. Right. Now, oh, here's something else you can do. Making homemade breadcrumbs. If you do any baking. Uh, here, I'm going to take a couple of slices of bread. Here, we'll tear these in half, just drop them down inside. Here, I'm, I'm going to do one more slice in here, too. And all you do is drop the fresh bread inside. You can do garlic. You can throw some garlic in there, make your garlic or 
herbs, whatever it is, uh, for breadcrumbs. You just pulse the, bu the button like this and you've got your chopped wow. fresh panko or breadcrumbs. Yeah. It's done in second. Crackers, for if you wanna do cracker crumbs. Uh, cookies, Oreo cookies for an Oreo cookie crust for a pie. And then pop, pop these blades out. Take a look at the consistency that you get with this. I mean, Jeez. it is absolutely perfect for homemade stuffing come the holidays. It saves you so much mm. time in the kitchen. And all you do is push a button. That's it, that's the beauty. I, I mean, otherwise, so what are we simple. doing? We get our knives out, right? Yep. We're cutting, we're cutting, we're cutting. Never as quick, never as fast, certainly never as consistent right. as what you have here. And it's not the big processor. Yeah, this it's is, not that nice. big giant food processor right. with all the parts and pieces. All you're doing, look, you can do peanuts, walnuts, almonds, cashews, any type of nut. If you're doing any uh, baking, place the motor over the top. You can chop your nuts for uh, maybe it's homemade cookies. Maybe you're making a pie crust. Maybe you're made about pie topping. You can add candy bars in here at, at home. I still have leftover candy from uh, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I take them all apart. I take like the Butterfinger ones, they're my favorite. Mm. Throw them in there, chop them up with the nuts, and then put them over the top oh, of ice cream. Oh, good idea. For ice cream sundae topping. But yes. Here, <laughs> look at this. I'm going to flop this out here. Look at there that perfect go. consistency on those walnuts. It's perfect for, you know, if you're making cookies. Absolutely. Pie toppings, it's amazing. And it's oh. a nightmare to have to cut walnuts by, you know, just pounding them. And yeah. You're not going to get it that It consistent. also gives you opportunities, Lynn, to yeah. do things like with leftovers. How about some leftover chicken breast, okay? Uh, instead of throwing it away or maybe, you know, if you want to make a chicken salad, all you do is put the motor over the top, push the button. You've got chicken salad done in seconds. That's leftover over chicken, okay, grilled Perfect. chicken, done perfectly. And again, you can add the other ingredients if you want to add some mayo in there. Here, I'll plop this out here so you guys can see this. Because this, I think this is the best part about it. You get a perfect consistency each and every time with this machine. With those four stainless steel blades in there, it does the work I, for you. I want the camera to just look at all this, from the garlic <laughs> to the onions, to parsley, to breadcrumbs, to the walnuts, yeah. to the <laughs> chicken salad. Started, okay, mean, and we did this in less than three minutes, like four yeah. minutes. So we are very, very busy. Same thing is happening yes. again. Uh, it will be $30, so we have brought it back at the event price today. Here's some cabbage for coleslaw. Yeah. All you do is push the button. You want fresh coleslaw. Look at this. I mean, it's so quick and easy. It's safe and fast. Now, I will show you one thing, okay? I noticed this one kind of didn't do the top. This comes apart, and I'm glad I did this because I get to explain it now. These blades come apart like this for easy cleaning. When you put it on top, you lock the blade into place, okay? So you turn it and lock it. Once it's locked, like this, there we go. Now you're ready to chop. So that little blade, gotcha. you want to make sure they're crossed this way. Okay. See, most choppers of this size have three blades inside. This one has four. I've even seen ones yeah. in this price range with only two. <laughs> right. To be right. honest with you. So I was impressed when you so said there's four blades Look at on this. There. Even for, here's some Oreo cookies. You want to make Oreo cookie crust. Maybe it's graham crackers for graham cracker crust. Oreo cookies for Oreo cookie crust. You can do uh, crackers for, maybe it's a chicken fish or meatloaf dinner that you want to make cracker crumbs, bread crumbs uh, for those Italian dishes. Look at this, perfect for a pie crust. I mean, mm. I, look at that. It comes out of the, here, I'm gonna pour this out so you guys can see this. Right out front here, there's no humps, lumps, bumps. That's perfect Oreo cookies for the <laughs> Oreo cookie crust. <laughs> yes. And it's done in seconds. Perfection, all right, we are very, very busy. Which one's most popular as far as the color choices? I know mean, we have the red, we have the black, and we also have the teal for you to choose from. I wanna say 